going to be going over an example now of how you can use uh, a table variable right from inside a stored procedure, and it's really straightforward. I'm going to open up my ACME database, and I'm going to go to Programmability, uh, Stored Procedures, and hey, look, table variable example. That looks good. We're going to open that up just to kind of show you. Um, I've modified this a little bit, or I, excuse me, what I did is I indented to be nice in between the, you know, containing begin and end. Up top, what I have is my declaration. Uh, all a table variable is, is, you know, after all, a variable. So it just gets interpreted as this runs. Uh, nothing gets written to disk. It's all just written in memory, so to speak. And um, what's different, though, like with an int or a varicare, uh, with a varicare between parentheses, you have to put like 2,000 or whatever the length is, the maximum length. But with a table, you got to tell it a little bit more, like about the fields. It's kind of two dimensional. Uh, I've got this thing called row num, which is going to be an auto number. And then I'm copying a CT key and a CT display and a CT description, all this other stuff from kind of another table. Then after, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, declarations, I do the actual work. I'm inserting into these fields, same ones, not the row num because that's automatic. And then here's the select I'm using. Uh, I'm using this select from this table with no where clause um, to get the record set with the values to go. Um, you know, after this insert. So I'm inserting into these fields, these things, and then I'm just doing a select at the end. So here's what that would look like. I mean, it's real straightforward. You know, like when you're running, um, when you're creating a temp table in a stored procedure, you can run it a million times. doesn't care because when the stored procedure is done, the temp table goes away. Well, it's the same thing with a stored procedure because it's just a variable. So if I go to run this, it's like, look, haha, it worked. If I run it again and again and again and again, it doesn't care. I mean, I'm sure it cares. No, it doesn't care. Um, if I run around it three times at once, it just it runs. The fact that it's a table variable, it gets pushed out of memory as soon as as soon as we get to the word end. Mr. Table Variable goes the way of the dodo bird. He's out of there. He's he's erased. He's terminated. He's think of how many movies Arnold's been in. Well, he's those. You know, the good movies. Anyway, one last thing just for hahas. Um, see this declare a table how for row num, it's just, all I want is like a dumb row number. Uh, like in other words, when it gets returned, it has one nice field that says there's a one and a two and a three. And I can use that if I want to loop through the table later on and do, you know, really nice stuff. So anyhow, you have to put at the very least int and then a space and the keyword identity. And then in parens, like one comma one, the one is where the seed is going to start and the other one is the increment. You could do something weird and hit make it go by every seven, like one, eight, fifteen. That would be kind of dumb. <clears throat> this primary key over here, this doesn't have to be here. This is just if you're going to try to like impress the boss. But even without that, let's just kind of hit execute. For what I want, for my purposes, what I'm showing here, it does the same thing. So primary key, just if you want to look cool and confuse people, or basically look cool, look smart, um, if that's what it takes. So basically, that's a simple example of a stored procedure that's using a table variable.